smartlocal.com Hi guys, I'll be replacing my skincare routine with a whole range made with food. know there's a lot of recipes for natural skincare online or food skincare online and no one has really tried it for like a steady whole week so I'm gonna put it to the test so I'll be making six of these skincare products today starting with a makeup remover then a toner followed by a serum moisturizer eye cream and also an overnight mask for the makeup remover you will need olive oil water and essential oil you will need green tea and water. For the serum, you will need milk and eggs. For the moisturizer, you will need coconut oil. For the eye cream, you will need almond oil and avocado. And for the overnight mask, you will need coconut milk and tomato. This is the full range of DIY skincare made with natural products, and I think that was relatively easy. So now that everything is done, I'm gonna give it a try for the first time. This is a makeup remover. It looks exactly like micellar water, actually. I only have my eyebrows done, no foundation or anything, but I'm gonna remove it with these. Before you use the makeup remover, you have to shake it up so the oil and the essential oils and the water can mix up. I would say it actually removed most of it on the first swipe. Next, I'm gonna try is the green tea toner. Guys, I really feel like I'm at a spa. Got green tea, got lemongrass. It's not sticky at all as well. The next one is the egg full cream milk serum that I am not very excited. It smells like scrambled eggs. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh my god, I can feel my skin tightening. So I'm just gonna apply the avocado eye cream under my eyes. It's a little bit chunky, so what you can do is you just Apply it on your pen and then you apply it onto your eye. So I just rinsed off the serum and the eye cream off of my face and it feels very good. I'm like super surprised. According to the Pretty Smart crew, I look a bit more refreshed. So the last one I'm gonna try is this organic coconut oil as a moisturizer. Also, I'll be trying a natural overnight mask made with tomatoes and coconut milk. I don't know whether this one will work, but I'll make it fresh right before I go to bed so I can try it and I'll show you guys how I do it later on. Now, today is day three. I have no makeup on right now. I just woke up, showered. My skin feels really good. I had a pimple scar here and it looks like it's slowly fading. Uh! Right, for avocados, you usually have to put lemon juice to make it to let it stay fresh so it doesn't turn brown that fast. But I'm not gonna put lemon juice near my really delicate under eye. This one has a really weird consistency. This looks like custard or even like pudding, but it still works. I tried it last night, it still has a tightening effect. And once it dried up, I just rinsed it off and my skin felt really, really nice. All right, so now my makeup is done. I'm gonna go for a couple of meetings and then I'll check in with you guys again. I am back home and I must say that my face was not oily. Honestly, my face has been pretty contained. I'm very, very impressed. Now I got a new batch of green tea toner. I have a confession. Today's the last second day and I'm not gonna use the remover anymore because I feel like it's really hard to remove waterproof makeup. It's good, but it's not working for me. I'm gonna use this that I just got. It's all natural oil makeup remover for your skin and it cleanses as well. 
I legit forgot how good it was to remove your makeup so fast. Alright guys, so it's come to the end of the challenge. It's the last night. I'm gonna dip the tomatoes into the coconut milk and put it on my face. Apparently, I'm supposed to dip it into the milk and rub it all over my face. So I'm just gonna use this small little slice. Oh my god! It smells nice because it's coconut milk, but I feel like I'm about to marinate myself for bobo hitam. It's... oh my goodness. Just an update, my face feels a little bit itchy. I'm not sure if this is normal or if the mask is doing something to my face. In fact, I just rinsed the mask. I feel like the mask was very moisturizing, so you don't have to moisturize your face with the coconut oil after the mask. Now my skin actually feels really good. It's quite messy, which is the only drawback. You do waste quite a bit of product because if you don't eat the tomatoes, you're technically only using like a few slices to do it. So I've been using this DIY skincare for a week and here's what I think about it. Here's a before and after. Usually my face gets oily very very fast but after the skincare I realized that my skin doesn't get oily that quickly. Also visibility wise I feel like it hasn't gotten like very much brighter but I'm happy with it. At the start of this DIY skincare routine uh, my period arrived and that was when my skin was a little bit more inflamed and a little bit more oily but then when I use this skincare it kind of tamed it down honestly I feel like my pores did shrink quite a bit because of the ache with milk serum so if you're asking me what kind of products I would still continue to use after this challenge it would definitely have to be coconut oil moisturizer the makeup remover only if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup and the green tea toner. The worst would definitely be the avocado eye cream and this egg serum. Technically, I was supposed to change it up every one to two days, but it's a lot of wastage. Like, I don't want to waste my eggs like that. Honestly, was this DIY skincare routine easy to stick to? I say no because it's very high maintenance. When it comes to doing this kind of DIY skincare routine, you really have to be on the ball to keep your skincare fresh. If it's not fresh, it's not good for your skin. Now, I would rate it out of 10. I'll give it a 6. It's so high maintenance for me now, really, I cannot. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one week DIY skincare routine challenge. If you guys want to try out any of these skincare stuff, make sure you let me know in the comment section below how it worked out for you. But before you go, make sure you catch other pretty smart episodes right here and here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till then, take heart, be kind, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!